This is the Apple Watch Series 7, the now smartwatch of Apple. But before we go in details on what is now and what do I think of the Apple Watch Series 7, I'm going to first show you the unboxing experience. And there it is. There is a cardboard lip that you can pull to open the box. Really nice as always from Apple. I bought me the Apple Watch 45mm Midnight Aluminium case with Midnight Sport Band. No cellular. As always it comes in a nice packaging with Apple Watch art on it. In this book is the Apple Watch and this is the Sport Band. There's a pull tab again. And there it is. There are manuals in it, but I'm not reading that. And this is the now Apple Watch charger with USB-C. Finally, no more USB-A. Good job, Apple. And the puck is now in aluminum. Nice. And there it is, the Apple Watch Series 7. There's a fabric sleeve over it. I did remove the fabric sleeve and the Apple Watch turn it on. And the last thing we need to open is the sport band. Again, we have a pull tab and there are the bands. It looks a little bit different than black, but I like it. So now we're going to talk about the now things on the Apple Watch Series 7. So the first thing that is now is, of course, the screen. The screen on the Apple Watch Series 7 is 20% larger than the Series 6 and 50% larger than the Series 3 and the bezels are 40% smaller. It also has a 70% brighter always on display indoor. That's also a welcoming function. The Apple Watch Series 7 has also a thicker front crystal glass. So that means the Apple Watch Series 7 is more durable than ever before. It also has a crack resistant and dust resistant and it has an EPX6 certification. And because the screen is now flat and under the curved glass it looks like the edge of the screen are curved and this looks so amazing. So that's the screen on the Apple Watch Series 7. But what are the other now things on the Apple Watch Series 7? I'll be honest, there aren't that many more, but I'll go over them all. So the second now thing is that the Apple Watch Series 7 charges 33% faster than the Series 6 if you use the now magnetic fast charging USB-C cable and a 20 watt USB-C power adapter. By the way, MaxiView does not charge the Series 7 faster, only the now magnetic fast charging USB-C cable. So you will think that the Apple Watch Series 7 has a bigger battery and the answer is no, it does not have a bigger battery. It is the same 18 hours all day battery, but 18 hours is really good for what the Apple Watch does. But of course, the Apple Watch has a now display that is bigger and is always on, that it's 70% brighter and it has the same 18 hours all day battery. So technically it's more energy efficient. The turnout thing is more software but it's also now. The keyboard on the Apple Watch, now you can type on the Apple Watch Series 7. I do really like this, of course I'm not going to type large messages on this, but for like answering really quick like ok or how you're doing or other things or you don't have your iPhone with you, this is just perfect. I did use this for a little while and it's really uh, great. The Apple Watch Series 7 is a little bit bigger, not that you can see it, I don't know how much bigger but it is and the last thing is the now speaker hole it is now one part it looks cleaner and i think the speaker is a little bit louder than the series 6 i'm not sure about that but maybe it's just louder because my series 7 is just new and that's it actually yeah but now we're going in the last chapter of this video what do i think and like about the series 7 First of all, yeah, of course the Series 7 is not so a big upgrade, but I think it is. The reason is the display is the most important thing, because you look at the watch and use it. So this is actually a big upgrade. I will say, so do I like the Series 7? Yes, I'm using my Series 7 now for two days and I love it. So who do I recommend this watch for? I will say everyone that needs a now one or if you want a bigger screen. I did have the Series 6 and I did upgrade to the Series 7 because the screen. Overall the Series 7 is similar with the Series 6, with health sensors and stuff, but yeah. I think the Apple did a really good job on the Series 7. Next year you can expect now health sensors and more things, so if the screen is not important for you, just wait for the Series 8 next year. So guys, this is my first tech video on my channel, Reventon Tech. I hope you liked it. Please drop a like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching. I will see you next time.